Okay. Mm -hmm. Very she's good. Telling, she's telling me. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. All right. All right, so tonight we are going to talk about customer care and follow up. So consistent follow up can generate a lot of additional income and leads for you guys every month if you're doing this, this these steps. Um, but most of the time, and I, I mean, I will say I'm included in this, you know, consultants neglect to follow up. And it's not just because they're afraid of being pushy, but it's because sometimes they get overwhelmed and they're not sure what to say. So I'm going to try to help you guys with that a little bit. Um, we almost put this training into like a fifth call in the um, six Saturday success strategies, but we just thought, nope, we're going to just do this as a training and it's something that everybody can refer back to. So always just remember um, pushy happens when you make things about yourself. So doing customer care is not meaning that you're being pushy. You're being a good, you know, customer service representative, if you will, or a good consultant because you're taking care of your customers. Okay. So don't think about it as being pushy. Just think about it, you know, as you're, you're doing, you're doing your job basically. All right. So we need to know though, what is the next thing that we need to do in this? And this is where our two by two by two formula comes into place. Um, this has been something that's been around for years. I mean, it's, I, the whole entire 20 years I've been in direct sales, this is a system. And um, it's not just a system that Pampered Chef uses. This is a system that's a very consistent system that direct selling companies um, learn you know, that's what they learned from their, from their, their home offices as well. So you guys need to know what to do. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the two by two by two system. Okay. All right. So two by two by two stands for two days, two weeks, two months. And I also like to put one year after that. So two days is a simple Thank you. It's the first call is two days after the party. If you get a customer's voicemail, you probably won't hear back from them, which is okay. Even if you don't hear back, they'll remember that you called to say thank you on the and on this call. That's all you're basically going to do is say thanks. So this is an example. I have these pictures with the spoons on them that you're going to see for these next three slides. We have that in our host, um, host coaching and follow-up system on our team links, which I'll share that with you guys too, so you just have it handy. Um, so this, th this call is going to sound something like this. Hi, Sue. This is Kelly with Pampered Chef. I just wanted to give you a quick call to say thank you so much for attending the party the other night. Or you could say so-and-so's virtual party. It was so nice to meet you. And I hope you had a great time. Thanks for your order too. If you have any questions about your products, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. Have a great day. Super simple. You're just saying thank you. So who on the call, who on the call is doing something like that already? I um, I kind of do, but I mean, a lot of times I just message that bad. Oh, no, not at all. It's in this oh. day and age, it's, I mean, voicemail used to be kind of like a bigger thing, but you can do whatever works for them. And if you're doing a door prize slip in your party and they've responded or they've ordered after you've maybe seen their door prize slip, I always, on my door price slip, it asks what's the, the way that they prefer to be contacted. So if they say text, I'm going to text this. If they say Facebook Messenger, I'm going to Facebook Messenger it. You know, it's whatever. Like I said, sometimes it doesn't matter how you do it. 
it matters that you do it. It's a system that you're using. So it's not always a right or wrong. You don't have to do it exactly this, the way that I do. Um, I also, let me just double check here because I think I, I do mine by text. Yeah, Lori does hers by text. Um, I also, I just have to make sure, don't, Lori, don't let me forget to show the flow chart later. Okay, because I didn't have that in this original slide and I forgot to add it in there. So I want to show that too. Okay. Um, okay, so very simple. The whole point of the two day one though is just really <clears throat> simply starting the relationship building process and saying, thank you. Thank you for your order. Thank you for attending the party. Okay. Um, there is even in um, the host coaching tab, like when you set up a show, do you guys know where I'm talking about? Yep. Okay. There's also thank you letters for different things in there too, that you can use if you would prefer to do it that way. I think nowadays people just look over emails and stuff. So I think it's better to do text or Facebook message or call, you know, however you choose to do it. Okay. All right. So that's two days. Does anybody have any questions about that? So it's basically just showing your customers that you appreciate them. And like I said, this is a relationship building type of business. So that's what you need to do to have continued success. Okay, two weeks. At this call, we are providing a service. It's, it's really thinking and using the follow-up in this call uh, that I have up in the left hand <clears throat> corner here is is there anything I can help you with today okay so this is kind of how this is going to go so on this second call or second text or voicemail however you want to do it the second set is two weeks after you submit the party and obviously sometimes I just kind of want to reiterate two days two weeks two months doesn't always happen exactly timely. <laughs> that's just it. That's just what it is. And that's okay. It's just as long as you're doing, doing something. The first is your host to make sure all the products were received and delivered. So make sure you call your, your, your host the first one for these calls. You don't want to call a guest and see how they like their products and find out they haven't gotten them yet. Okay. This is a little bit, um, different. This um, wording, I probably need to fix this because we're on direct shift now. So everything's going to people's houses. Um, but there is an occasion that you might have a host or a customer say, I'm going to have it sent to so-and-so's house. So just, you know, always kind of be mindful of that. You might've had, they might've had their order shipped specifically to the host for maybe they were going to be on vacation or something like that. So just do your, for your, your call or your message with the host first. Um, the second call is what we think of as an out of the box call. This is to make sure the customer doesn't have any questions or problems with their order. And again, you're going to probably get a voicemail or you might not get an answer back from them on a message, but just make sure to, you know, to give them your phone number in case they need your assistance. It may sound something like, Hi, Sue, this is Kelly with Pampered Chef. I'm just calling or I'm just messaging you to make sure that you love the products you purchased from the party. I hope you had a chance to take them out of the box and try them. If you have any questions or concerns, please call me back right away. I want you to be 100% satisfied. We do offer return, free return shipping within the first 30 days if there's any problems. You can reach me at this phone number. Have a great day. You might even want to add at the end there, well, you know, if there's anything I can help you with. So that's kind of what you're just kind of getting a feel for how they're doing, if they're liking things. And sometimes you will get a response back on these calls or these messages and they'll say, you know, no, I haven't taken it out of the box yet. Thanks for the reminder, you know, or something like that. And then I might follow up with something like, um, you know, say it's like, say I'm just thinking rapid prep mandolin in my mind right now. Say it was the rapid prep mandolin. I'll say, get it out right now. I just made French fries last night and they were amazing. You know, like say something like that, you know, like do something fun to kind of, to get the interaction with them going. Okay. 
Because like I said, anytime you can make yourself relatable to them, it's all the process of building a relationship with them. Okay. Anybody have any questions about that? Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, so two months. Okay, two months. Two months is going to be kind of a major one. This one is a big one. This is the one where you're going to start probably maybe getting a booking from this. This is going to be the one where maybe somebody might want to reorder something like a like pancake mix or, you know, something like that. This one is the one that, you know, they may, they might, might, might find that they are really loving things and they want to add this now. So this one can be a really important call. So it's kind of like, what's new with you? Is there anything else I can help you with right now? So the third set of calls is about two months after the party. You'll let your customer know what's new with Pampered Chef and hopefully, hopefully create a desire for something more. At this point, they're ready to hear about what else you're offering because you've built a relationship with them by thanking them and ensuring they're happy with their purchase without ever asking for anything in return. There's always something new going on with Pampered Chef. So try sharing the guest offer that includes the free product with purchase products that are on sale, like a good thing, like right now, for instance, that you could say is June 1st, we have some amazing new summer products coming out. We have a cool and serve and we have the corn cob knobs are back. And, you know, so you can go into something like that. You can say that the air fryer is going to be back, stuff like that. Which retired, retired products are available at a discount through the outlet or just talking about the outlet. Um, if you like to do theme parties or theme virtual parties, you can tell them about the new themes you're offering. Um, the host offers what's available for the hosts this month or the upcoming month. And um, if there's new products, you know, it might, you know, depending on what time of year it is. So your call or message may sound something like this. Hold on a second. I got to bring it up on my other thing here. All right. Hi, Sue. This is Kelly with Pampered Chef. I'm calling because there's always something exciting going on with Pampered Chef, and I wanted to let you know that next month, our hosts can purchase our Rock Crock for just $69.50 when they gather some friends together for a fun cooking party or virtual party online. I'm really excited about my new Healthy in a Hurry theme party that features our best-selling product, blah, 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 veggie strip maker. We don't have that anymore. Um, if this sounds like fun to you, give me a call or message me or, or message me back. Or if there's anything else I can help you with, I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day. Okay. How does that sound to you guys? Good. Who is Kelly at this point? If they, can you offer like another recipe that you think they might not have tried with? For sure. Something? For sure. Yeah. Is that where you, you put it, at the re, it? You can always reiterate and say, you know, I hope you're loving the quick cooker. We just tried a new recipe this week, and then you can send the link from your website. Okay. You know, like something like okay. that. Anytime you're, you know, do things that are um, free to you, if you will, like giving people e cookbooks that are available on the, our websites um, or just simple recipes from our websites, but always make sure that you guys view your personal website and then copy and paste the link to the recipe from your website. So it, it gets them back to your website. Do you guys know what I mean by that? Yep. Okay. So you want to make sure that it'll say your personal website address kind of like in the, in the link that you're sending, because you don't want them just referring them to pamperchef.com. You know what I mean? You want to make sure that they're shopping on your site. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me collapse you guys down again. So anybody else have any questions about that? Has anybody found that does, like I know Lori's really good with her follow-up. So Lori, on these particular, the two month call, or is that where you're finding you'll get some bookings from or some, some I haven't been doing the two month. 
Well, I'm what kind it. of a consultant? No, I'm just I know. <laughs> I've been doing the two day and two week, but I will, that's something I want to start doing now okay. that I've got, you know, a little bit more time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would just love it tip. again, isn't she? Yeah. What's that? I said, you're just rubbing it in again, aren't you? <laughs> oh, sorry. It's <laughs> kidding. Carla and Anna, Lori just retired from her job of like 25 years. So <laughs> she's, <laughs> so we're teasing. We just like to tease her. So, but I'm not in a routine yet and I got to get in a routine. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's hard. Give yourself a little time. I know, but it's, it's, I know I'm so yeah. regimented and now I feel like I've just run amok. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, (laughs) Just telling Larry about that. I'm like, I have, I'm regimented. I have to get up at a certain time. I got to get working at a certain time. I got to really. I'm even like that in the summer. I still set my alarm in the summer though. I do. Like when I'm off working at school, I still set my alarm because I feel like I get so much done before the kids wake up and stuff if I don't, mm-hmm. or I like my quiet time before the kids wake up and start bugging me. So I'm not getting <laughs> up at five o'clock ever again. So, okay. <laughs> you, you do. So you. Okay. <laughs> maybe eight. Okay. Yeah. Maybe eight. So um, start at seven. Maybe that would be a good compromise. <laughs> yeah. So I, go ahead. I would, I would love Anybody who's having great luck or has a great system to get together with me and help share how you do this. Oh, that's you what I'm keep working. a calendar. Do you have it written out somewhere and just I'm struggling with that. Yep. Okay. This is all what we're gonna talk about tonight. Okay. That's what I was looking for as well. Too. Okay. Okay, so this is two months. Okay, here I'm gonna collapse you guys again. All right, so then I like to add in one year. So this is, and I mean, you can do this with anybody. You can do it with your past hosts because their past host discount is about to expire. And yes, they get a a email from home office and you get a copy of that email. Have you guys noticed that in your emails? Yeah. Some of you might not have been with the company long enough. Like I know, Domini, you haven't gotten any of those yet. But you will get it too, as, as, and it's usually like about six weeks or eight weeks before their past host discount is going to expire. So you have time to follow up with them. But try hard to rebook your hosts for the next year. That is, um, that is huge. And I have tons and tons of, of customers and hosts that do that with me regularly. Every year they have a party with me. So um, I think I know this one girl, Kelly Coleman, that I have parties with. I think we're on year like 17. She just had, I think it was year 17 of a, well, she does virtual parties with me now. But um, yeah, so I mean, I've had a, a, you know, like basically a lifelong customer in her and host in her. So don't be afraid to reach out. There's always new products. And even now that we have the shared rewards option, somebody that might not be really wanting or needing a whole lot of products themselves, but there might be a couple of things that, you know, catch their attention. Why not offer them a shared rewards party and them and their friends can all get a discount, you know? So that's one thing that we can really, that was always a hard thing when, um, I started, you know, having repeat hosts or customers, even for that fact that don't cook as much anymore, you know, or don't need as much anymore. Sometimes it was a hard sell to get them to book a party. And now we have the shared rewards option. So don't, you know, forget about that. Um, it's, it's definitely something that's working well for a lot of people. Okay. So don't, don't forget about that. Um, the other thing is, is that, Does everybody know, we talked about this in the other call, that you can, you know, any product that is purchased except for pantry items or food items, you have up to 30 days to return them for free. So Pampered Chef will send you a a label and they can be returned in the first 30 days. So if it's broken when you get it, if it breaks during use, or if you just simply do not like it, let, you know, I say at my shows, let, let me know, and I will get a return issued for you, and I will have your package, you know, it'll get picked up, or you can drop it off at the post office. But did you know that you have up to a year 
to return anything except for food items because those are more like if they're damaged in shipping like if they're opened and used and they just don't like it sorry it's food you can't return yeah. that but you have up to a year to return anything for a full refund or exchange it out for something else did everybody know that mm -hmm. anything in the catalog except food items and i take it back Anything in the catalog except food items and anything in the catalog that has um, LTD as their guarantee, which I think right now is only the um, cold brew pitcher. That one is a, if it's damaged in shipping only return item. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So otherwise... You know, I had a girl, this happened like, it must have been around Christmas. And she had a party with me last, it must have been like April or May because it was when we still had the air fryers. Um, or like when we first got them before, like the big back orders started last year from, from the pandemic. And she just wasn't using it. And I saw on Facebook, and I told her this. But I saw on Facebook, is anybody interested in an air fryer? I, you know, I'll sell it. I can, you know, I can give you guys, give me a price and I can sell it to you. And I'm like, Linda, <laughs> is it the one that you just got with your party? And she's like, yeah. And I said, I can get you a refund on it if you don't want it. I said, you have up to a year to return anything for a full refund or exchange it out for something else. And she's like, oh my God, are you serious? Yes, she had to pay the shipping, but I because she's a good customer of mine, I reimbursed her for the shipping to ship it back. That's just something I did. You don't have to offer that. I just did that because to me, that's good customer service. So I paid for the shipping. She just let me, knew, let me know how much it was. And I think it was like $13. It wasn't anything. I just use it as a tax write-off. I just keep track of stuff like that. So I shipped it back and she got her, yes, I think she got her money back. I don't think she exchanged it for something else. So it's like, I'm glad I was friends with her on Facebook and I saw that and stuff. Cause it's like, you need to make sure that they're aware of things like that, you know? So, um, I had somebody that was like a couple years ago that quick cooker, the same kind of thing. She didn't put it out there, but she just messaged me and said, I think you told me that if I didn't like this, I could send it back. And I said, yeah, it's in, and it was within a year. And I said, yep, absolutely. And actually, um, one of the girls on our team ended up buying it from her. So we didn't even have to send that one back, but um, so that one, you know, I said, oh my gosh, actually, I think I have one of my consultants that wants one and we could just do that. And she'd only used it like two or three times. So it wasn't the, the consultant on our team was like, nope, I'll take it. So, um, it worked. So don't just don't not say stuff like that, you know, make that a post in your virtual parties. If you're doing cooking shows, they're starting to go back to cooking shows. Make sure when you're kind of ending your show, that's kind of one of those things that I go over when I send out my door prize slip you know, at the end of my cooking show, I say, you know, you know, I take, you know, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, you can write checks to Kelly Smith or Pamper Jeff, you know, if you, if it's, you know, just remember when you get your stuff, take them out of the box, use them as much as you can in the first 30 days. If in the first 30 days, they're broken when you get them, they break during use, or if you just plain old do not like them, call me right away and I will get you a label to pick them up and you always have up to a year to return anything for a full refund or exchange it out for something else. And then I, then I say, except like food items. So you've got to do that. That's part of your job. You need to make people aware of that. And I think that's one of those things that sometimes consultants get missed in their training that they don't know that. Um, that's where Kelly, that 30 days is that 30 days from when they receive it or 30 30 days from when it's shipped usually. Okay. So it's not when the order is submitted, it's when it's shipped. I don't think they can, I think they have to have a way that it's like easy for them to track on Pampered Chef's system. So it's not like they're gonna go in and check each tracking number to see when they got it. So then no, it's 30 days, you know, so they have to have a system at home office too. So it's when it ships. And for a while there, we they were giving us like 120 days, but now it's from from the way I understand it is it's back to the 30 days because things are shipping out good. Because last summer you couldn't do 30 days because sometimes people weren't even getting it. Right. You know, 
even though it was supposed to go by ship date, it was just really hard to kind of keep track of that at that time. So they, they decided just to do that 120. So, okay. So that's where I like to kind of do the one year thing. That's too, if you've been in the business for a while, or if you're getting close to the having that year, that kind of stuff can be huge if you need to rebook people, follow up with people. That just gives you that one more opportunity to be able to follow up with them and do that customer care, okay? So that one year mark, I think, is an important thing to include in the two by two by two. So um, hold on here. So that here, let me show you the flow chart quick before we go on to kind of how to do this. Okay. So hold on, I'm going to stop and I got to get over to, I got to go to my other screen. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, yep, I was probably shopping on Amazon. Hold on. Ugh, why is this not working for me? Okay. Okay, I know I'm sharing my screen. I want to not share my screen for a second so I can get it off of the chase. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go now. Now I can go back over to you guys. You'd think that we would know what we were doing after 14, 15 months of this. So, okay, so. Oh, that's not, that one's not good in there. Let me get it from the team page. So a lot of times you'll hear me call this the flow chart. So let me just type in, so go to the team page, you can, yep. So if you just type in flow in the team pages search bar, you can get the flow chart. So you guys might've seen this before. So this is like your full service checkout that you would do if you were at a cooking show or a virtual party, this is how you follow. This is how your texting is going to do, okay? So you're gonna start with, when they, when they place their order, you're gonna start with, hi, thanks so much for attending or ordering from so-and-so's Pampered Chef Party. You were such a fun guest. I also wanted to make sure that you were able to get all the items on your wish list and see if you had any questions about the products you ordered. So Jody, did you have any questions about the products you ordered? Um, no, but I wanna know, how many days did you say again that I can return this if I end up not liking it? Okay, so you have so you have up to a year to return anything for a full refund or get it, exchange it out for something else. But remember, in the first 30 days is when we can Pampered Chef will pick it up for free from you. Um, oh, thank you. So if you looked on this chart, see how there's the arrows? So yep. no, but thanks. Then you can follow up with you're welcome. I'll plan to check in with you again after your items arrive. In the meantime, can I interest you in your own party? So there's all these different ways that you can go, okay? It's gonna tell you to respond this way, respond this way, respond this way. So this is one of those pictures that like save it in your phone so you have it like accessible to you, okay? And it's very easy. This one isn't what we probably, Lori, this is something we should probably do as a director team is maybe we, put this into a document that they can easily cut and paste from. So, um, Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. Uh huh. And some people do a lot of, um, text replacements. That's another thing some consultants do is they use their text replacement in their phone. But I think sometimes just having it in a document that can be cut and pasted from. So this is very helpful, especially when you're brand new. I think this is a great way to be able to follow through and um, you, it just is, it's giving you those words to say. And that's where I think most consultants just struggle is they don't know what to say. They don't, aren't super familiar with the lingo yet. And it's, so it's hard to know what to say. So this is, this is super helpful. And I always feel really bad because I got this one time in one of the Facebook groups for consultants, 
And I have no idea who created or anything. So I always feel bad because I never give this person credit. <laughs> so I think it's wonderful though. Okay, so I wanted to make sure I showed you that. So then um, Belinda Ellsworth has a company called Step Into Success. Belinda Ellsworth is a direct selling expert. I believe when she started way back in the day in her direct sales career, I believe she was a Mary Kay consultant and then she started her own direct selling expertise business. And I know I've taken some trainings with her. Lori has been taking some courses with her. So she's got a, gr a lot of great ideas. And um, this is kind of where I pulled some of the information from is from Belinda. Um, so this now, what I'm going to kind of show you guys next is how to use the system so you can keep up with it. Okay. Cause that's the thing. It's great to tell you what to do, but if you're not doing it, then what good is it for you? Do you know what I mean? You, ha you have to implement it, right? So who here has heard of a tickler file? Okay. So a tickler file is like an old school secretary system that people would use in offices and stuff like that. So the nice thing is nowadays, a tickler system can be done in a digital format as well as or as a paper format too. And there's lots of different ways that you can actually do it. Um, but probably the easiest way is if you want to do it paper and not digital, I'll kind of tell you about that first. So tickler is using a filing system of one through 31 to recognize the numbers in the month. And then, so you would have an, uh, you'd have a set of files that are labeled one all the way through 31. So you'd have one, two, three, four, five, you know, you'd have all of that. Then the next set of files would be January through December. Okay. So when I go to, I'm going to just say cooking show, because that's just the, I think that's the easiest way, but you could keep track of this on a virtual show as well. I, here, let me see here. I think I can, can you guys see, did I, my screen just flip? It says host, host coaching. Okay, okay, good. It does. Okay. So I have a piece of paper that I use at my parties. It's, it's a front and back. Actually, I don't use this this way anymore. I do it digitally. Um, so, but here, if I can get my, I got to move you guys over so I can get here. I got to scroll down. Okay, so, so here is a tracker. So this is what it looks like. And this is all available to you in our team links. So this is what it looks like. It prints out come on, with the guest's name, how they paid, you know, if they ordered online, booked, if they booked, if they were, you know, they were a recruit lead, if they wanted info or booked a fundraiser or wedding. And then I can have my two days, two weeks, two months, my one year call on here. Okay. And at the bottom of it, it does say, it kind of gives you, where did it go here? I think I just two days is your thank you. It kind of gives you like your little reminders. And then there is like a little note section. Okay. So I print this and then on the other side of it is this. So this is my steps for coaching the host to begin with, okay? So it's like, did I make their packet? Did I send their packet? Did I make the link for their party? Did I do the Facebook invite? Did I do the text invite? And Lori has created one for virtual parties just like this, and it's in the same document. And then at while I'm at my show, I can write down, you know, 
um, who book, what bookings I have. I have some things that I do for cooking shows specifically. So it's however you want to do it. My recruit leads. And if I'm at a show, if I have anything that I need to follow up with somebody on, I might've had somebody that said, can you check and see how long ago I purchased my food chopper to see if it's in the five-year warranty? Say they're a past customer of mine. I'll write those, make those little notes while I'm at the show. And then I'll do my follow-up with them in the next couple of days. So I print these two papers back to back. Does that make sense? So I have it for my host coaching, but then when I get to the party, I can flip it over and use it as I'm doing my checkouts. Or even in your virtual party, you can start making your notes for your virtual party. This is where you can track. Lori's got on there, um, rock star guests. What else do you have on there, Lori? I can't think right now. Here, let me look at it. I'll bring it up. Um, I have, um, if they're engaged in a party, if they placed an order, if I private message them during the party, um, if they answered to the yeah, yeah. money is not an object post. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going on the, I was doing the tracker one. Yeah. So this is, this is kind of like your host one. And then you have the tracker on the back, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I was doing the yeah. tracker. And then I do like if what pamper chef perk they like. So I know what I you know, followed up with them on mm -hmm. apron post. If they chose something on the apron post, the rock star guest, then I have, if I gave them a prize, yep. if they're mm -hmm. purging, future booking, recruiting lead. And then I also have my customer care one, two, and three on there. Mm -hmm. So I can put the date and did I text them or did I email them? You know, something. Mm -hmm. it's a home phone. So I have to, email right. Them, but. right. So then you have this piece of paper this back-to-back -back piece of paper, okay? Hold on, I'm trying to get you guys back up here. So you have this back-to-back -back piece of paper. Then now you're going to go to your file and you're going to, so today is May 26th and your party just ended. You're going to take that piece of paper and you're going to put it behind 28 because that's two days from now. So you're in the month of May and it's two days from now. So we're going to put it under the 28th. So then on the 28th, when I go to go, okay, what do I have on my list of things to do today? I'm going to go to my 28th and I'm going to go, oh, I got to follow up on these calls. This is my day to send the two day calls for this party. But then I can also use my tickler file too. Like I know on every Monday I make a post on my team page on who's where people are at on sales, or I do, I post the um, action plan for the week, you know? So like things that you do, like I, I send um, my host coaching um, packets out on Mondays. So I would have like a little card or index card or a piece of paper in every Monday. So then say, okay, so Monday is going to be the 31st. So Monday, the 31st, I'd have my thing in there saying, say, send host coaching packs. Then I would move it to, I think it's like the eighth then. So then I would move it to the next Monday. So then I would put it behind the eight. So then when I got to the eights, I'd take out my list of things to do for the day. And I'd go, okay, today I got to make host coaching or host packets. And these are the two parties I have to follow up with. Then when I get to the 28th, I'm going to look at my calendar and I'm going to go two weeks from the 28th is June 11th. So I'm going to take that piece of paper and I'm going to put it behind the 11th. So then when I get to the 11th, but what if I have a person in there that on one of those calls or maybe on one of my door prize slips from my cooking show, they say, contact me in August. What do you think I'm going to do with it then? Put it in August. You're going to put it in, you know, how I told you there's going to be January yep. through December. You're going to put that in August. And then the last couple of days of July or the first day of August, you're going to reach in that month and see what you have in there and then distribute it between a day, you know what I mean? Of what you, when you want to follow up with them. Like, you know, okay. if they call me mid August, then I'd put it on around like the 13th or the 14th and I'd stick it behind the 13th or the 14th. Okay. okay. So same thing. Then you go two months, you're going to go out to August 
11th, you're going to stick it in the August. You're going to make a note around August 11th to, to call them and their, to do their two, your two month calls. And then obviously one year, you're going to go back and put them in May. You might even, may even put them in April. It depends on what time of the month they had their party. You know what I mean? If it was like right at the beginning of May, you might want to do April. You know what I mean? So you get within that year because it doesn't happen often. But if I do do those follow-ups when it's that year call, once in a while, I do have somebody that needs to return something. You know what I mean? So you want to make sure you get it in before that year is up. Okay. Okay. So does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So now do I have anybody here? that would want to learn how to I do it digitally? Or does that like just freak people out? Yes, um, I'm just curious. So like on the flip side of this paper is just, this is only pertaining to host. What nope. about the, yeah, you know. No, no, your guests are all listed on the back side. On this one. So each person, guest name, blah, blah, blah. So then you're going to make your notes. And if it starts to get too complicated, Carla, and like you need to take them off this paper, just start a sheet of paper or an index card just for that person and still just follow the dates. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Like yeah. sometimes it might, they might turn into your own host or like another a host then, and then you kind of got to take them off. You just make like a little note next to it of what you did. And, you know, oh, so-and-so is going to book their own party, you know, and then, I don't know, you can have a little way that you do it. You can just like mark their name off or put a check by their name or something like they're not on, in that anymore. You'll more than likely remember, do you know what I mean? Unless you're doing like 40 parties a month, you'll kind of remember, you know, when you go back and look at it, what you've done. Okay. So this is, you know, your host coaching is on one side and then the flip side has got all your guest info. But you still kind of want to make sure that you're talking to your host too. So um, that's why, you know, like the host, it's just easier to keep it all together. I feel like I just have felt like that that is what works best for me. And that's kind of how I was trained to do it to begin with. And, um, and then also too, I use my door prize slips. Like when I'm doing cooking shows, you obviously can't, you don't have a door prize slip on paper for, um, a virtual sure. party, but you do have, um, if you're using a virtual one, you should have a um, way to go back and look at those. Are you guys doing those door price slips in your parties? Okay, Jode, I want you to start doing that. We can talk about that. That's really crucial. Anybody else not doing a door price slip in their virtual parties? Dominique hasn't yet, but you want to, right? Yes, she's going to. Yeah, I know she's going to. So we can, that can be, we can do another little pop-up training on that. Maybe we can do that this next week. Okay. Okay. I'll do it as a pop-up. Um, yes, I've, I've realized since this pandemic is starting to wind down, I am very disorganized. So this is very helpful. No, you're fine. This is into it. Like we have a lot of new people on the team. So it's kind of, you know, it sometimes it just needs to be kind of refreshed and Sometimes we get so caught up in the fact that we just got to get the party going and started and learn how to comment and do this and right. do that, and get this many people in the party that like this part of it gets forgotten about. And this is actually like almost as important as your host coaching, because this yep. is where the relationship building is really going to start. Yeah, this is where I lose it. I do great mm -hmm. with parties and comments and calling yeah. people back within a week, but then the organizing it so I know what people got is where I lose it. Yeah. Mm hmm and I just have, actually, I don't, I'm at Daryl's right now, so I don't have my, I didn't even think to grab my binder. I don't use my paper one anymore, but I still have it so I can show you guys. Lori, did you ever get a, your binder together? She's not even on. She's just yes. pretending. No, I'm just kidding. No. Yes, I do. <laughs> Is it something that you'd be willing to show us right now or no? Sure. Okay. Here, I'm going to make the screen bigger here. Hold on. I'm going to stop sharing for a sec. There. How do I? Oh, here we go. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hey, Lord. Hi. <laughs> Here's my binder. 
And I have found that particular one, it's a mead five star with like a flexible cover. It works yeah, I like really, that it's really well. Cause it can be like, yes, it can like take a lot of abuse, but yet it can get like really, really full too. So that one I found, I tried it like years ago with like a plastic binder and it was just like, I just felt like it was bulky. And these have like a little thing on either side. I don't know if you can see. Older. Like a little pocket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have a document of like, like which ones we got and stuff. I have all that too. So I got one through 31. Mm -hmm. And then I've got all my months and they're the same pockets. I just stuck those to the mm -hmm. back. Yeah. So then you can just slide, you know, the, the pockets are nice because then it's month. Yeah, if you have and an index you get that month, put them in your days. Yeah. You have awesome. one to 31. Do you do that for just one month or do you do it for two months where you've got the one to 31? Nope. Mm -mm. No, because then what's going to happen is say, say today is like the 28th, mm -hmm. you know, or like the 20, whatever, what are you are today, the 26th, and say that I need to call somebody two weeks from now. Yeah. I just look at my calendar and go, so today's the 26th and two weeks from now is the ninth. So then I just put it behind the nine because oh. I know then when I get to June 9th, it's all back there for me. But oh. if somebody goes longer than like a month, like into the next month, then you would put like, if I didn't need to call them till July, I would put that note in July. Okay. Does that make sense? That does make sense. Okay. okay. Yeah, and then on July 1st, you take the ones out of July and you put them in all the numbered. Yeah. Well, however, you're going to distribute them through the month, you know, you can oh. decide. Mm -hmm. Okay. You just on July 1st, or like I said, like June 29th or 30th, I might pull those all out for July and go, okay, this one I should probably call around the 5th. And this one I should, you know what I mean? I'll go through and do like that. And then I've got like little cards on what I'm going to do on the first of the month. Cause you know, the first yeah. of the month, I need to change the covers on my VIP group and my business page. Mm -hmm. And I got to give our goals to Kelly and, you know, things like that, that mm -hmm. you always do on the first of the month, or you yeah. always do on the, you know, 15th of month or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you might be doing that's consistent, you can keep that in. Yeah. So when whatever, like, so what a really good thing to do is, and this is what I told Lori to do when we, we talked about this several months back is I said now for like the next week or so, keep like a list next to, or like a, a piece of paper next to you. And every time do you go to do a, a task that has something to do with your business, write it down and say, oh shoot, I do that every Tuesday. So then you can write that on the card mm -hmm. on Tuesdays, and then you just move it, move that card which is your Tuesday card while next Tuesday is the first. So I would put that behind the first, but if you know that there's something that you do on the first of every single month, you want to post the new recruiting promo, you want to post what the monthly special is, you know, you might, you might just put on, you know, you might just have a card in there for the first of the month that says on the first of the month, I do change my cover photo, update the recruiting thing, blah, you know, you just make your list of things that you do. So kind of think about the things that you do daily, weekly, monthly. Okay. You know, like one thing that I always do on the first of the month is I go and I print my performance tracker off of Consultant Connection because that's the only place that you can ever see month to month what your show average is. Okay. And once it's gone after about the fifth or sixth of the month, you can't get it back again. It's one of those weird things. So I always do that. Hold on. Okay, Lori, do you do it digitally now or do you stay with the paper? I'm a paper person. I am too. That's why I'm saying I'd love to be able to be digital, but I tried it. I signed up for that one digital organization that Kelly, you had mentioned and I did that but then I would get notifications when I was at work and by the time I got home I forgot about checking into uh -huh. them and I was just a mess you have to I think what, once I do paper yeah. and get that down pat this would uh -huh. be so much more helpful thank so you so for me I had made it a goal to try to get 
more digital because I always mm-hmm. had my phone with me and I was really in the habit of using Google anyway, you know, all things right. Google. So okay. I had made it like one of my goals, like to start the year a couple years ago to go completely digital. And I did that for about a year and a half. But when the pandemic hit last year and oh. all of a sudden I was like, I've never done four virtual parties in one week. I just freaked and I, I went out and bought a paper calendar quick and, and I completely got off track. Now in the last about two months, I'm finally back to my digital again. Cause it was like, I, I did get to the point where I was like, I don't have my calendar with me. I don't remember what I have next week. And it's like, for me then, once I got into that habit, but do what is going to work for you now, you can always do that later. Transition, yes. Yes, yes I, I just want to go digital too, but I'm too technology challenged right now. I have to do paper first. Mm-hmm. And that's too, nice I have it and, down. And like there's I, not a right or wrong way to do it. It's just that you have to do it, do it somehow. Do that's, you yeah. know, that's the biggest thing to remember. Does anybody want me to show you my digital? I mean, it's okay if you don't, I can always do it with somebody separate. Cause it's not, I don't think it's necessary. I feel like sometimes maybe it's easier to do this on paper first for a while and get your system down. It just so you can see visually how it works. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try paper for a while first, but I would like to try digital. I've got three out of computer problems and I'm like, Mm -hmm. I need to get my my act and- Yeah, yeah. Yeah, So that's why I like the digital because if I'm sitting in the car waiting to pick up you know, queuing from somewhere, I can be like, oh, I got to still do this today or oh, quick, I can send this message quick. And it's all right there at my fingertips and I can check it off my list. And I use a combination of Google Calendar and Google Tasks. So Google Tasks also, like I can put my tasks for the day that I need to do. And then it's got a calendar in it. So here I'll kind of just, I'll just kind of just briefly show you. Um, Quiet Google. Continue. Stop Google. Oh, <laughs> I'm making I'm making Google go off here. So yes. I'm in my Google account right here and see these icons all no matter what screen I'm in for Google. Do you see this? No. No, we can't see your screen. So shoot, I'm not okay. I didn't share. Okay, hold on. Okay, share screen. Okay, so here I'm in a Google doc. And do you see how there's this over here? There's the Mm -hmm. calendar, there's my Google Keep, that's another Google app, and here's my Google Tasks. So it's always here. If I go over to Google Sheets, it's still there. If I'm in Google Slides, it's still there. So I can go in Google Keep, I have lots of things, like I keep like my grocery lists, things that I need to do, things that are like things I need to make sure that I know, like if I go to the store and I need to buy a new air filter for my refrigerator, I know what it looks like. You know what I mean? Like I can't, I can Uh Um, just different, you know, different pictures that are important. Um, Like here's like my, here, I've got the flow chart in there, you know, different things like that. So Google keep is just kind of where I need to keep things like that. They're really easy to access. Okay, or to access. Okay, so Google Keep is a great is a great one. Um, the other nice thing about Google Keep is you can share things from it. You can send it to somebody in a message, a text, an email, a Facebook message. It's really cool. Um, so things are very shareable from that app. Now Google Tasks. So in my calendar, for instance, here um, I always have every day. I have make five contacts and on Wednesdays every week, I set up my virtual parties on like Facebook and in the computer Um, or I'm sorry on Facebook because I've already sent their packets out. And then if I'm doing cooking shows, I always, I always remind myself to do my show follow up from the previous day. Okay. So that's like a thing that just pops up at the top of my calendar as like a reminder every day. And then if I have things that I'm doing, like I have a, you know, like a task that I have to post, there's on Wednesday nights, there's a message that I post in the evenings on my virtual parties. So that'll alert me. Oh, and I'll be like, oh crap, I got to go post my posts. Okay. 
So then, so that's like kind of like how my days look that way. You know, they'll tell me I send out gifts on this day and then I work on my flow charts. Are you getting an audible alert? Um, it comes up as a, I have it like it dings on my phone or I'm, you know what I mean? So not audible though. It's not audio. It doesn't, it just makes like a noise. I suppose it's however you have it set up. Like a notification. Yeah. Notification pops up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So that's kind of like how my calendar looks. Then in my tasks, it will tell me like this week I've got, these are like my four. So I, I use this as like my parties that I have because I like to try to have four virtual parties a week. So I can put the host. So if somebody says, oh, I want to start my party on May 28th, I can go under May 28th and I can put my four people. But then say I'm going to here, mm -hmm. I want to start a, here, I'm going to add a task. So I think I have this in here already, but I'm going to go ahead and start a task here. I'm trying to see if I can make this bigger. I don't think I can in here. So this one, um, I can start, I'm just going to say, Lori rates and what I, she's going to have a cooking show with me and she's going to have it on June 18th. So I send my host packs out about three weeks before my party. So I'm going to count back three weeks. So that would be the 28th. So on, so on her Lori Reitz, I'm going to mark the 28th, okay? And then remember that host coaching document, this one, for cooking shows that I print on that piece of paper mm -hmm. when I was doing a paper. What I do is I go like this, and I make a copy of it. And I go back over to my, my tasks and here she is. So under the details, I'm going to paste that in there. So now here's my whole host coaching system in here. And that I know on May 28th, it's going to alert me and I'm going to just start at the top and I'm going to make my packet and send it. So then once I get to the 28th and I've sent her packet, I know the next thing I need to do is call her in two weeks from now to make sure that she's gotten her, or in a week from now to make sure she's gotten her invites out. And so then I will move this because it's on a date right now. I can then take this date and move it to two weeks from now. So now it's going to alert me on the 11th. So it's the same thing. It's my, I'm still using it as a tickler system, but say she wanted me to call her in August, I would probably just put her under um, August. You know, I would like make it like August 1st or I would make it like July 31st or something. So does that, does, does that kind of make sense? Yes. And then I can go in here and I can go, I made her packet. I can put an X in it. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. But, you know, I can go in and just check. I can put an X mark on everything that I've checked off. I can go ahead and start making notes right from my phone when I'm on my show on who did bookings, who booked, who I need, who my recruit leads are, who my follow-up is. I can make all the notes just right on my phone instead of having to write it on a piece of paper. And then the same thing I'm going to take once the show's done and I'm going to go ahead and start moving it to the two days, two weeks, two months. And if I need to veer off and make um, somebody, you know, like more of an individual contact, then I obviously put them in as a contact and I move their dates accordingly as well. Does that make sense? Yes. Or did I completely blow your mind? I super shocked that I've never known this. And I use a Chromebook, which is all Google. Mm-hmm.
So it's pretty cool. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of things that you can do this way. And some people simply do it in their calendar. They're, instead of, I like the tasks because I feel like I, I don't know, like my calendar doesn't get loaded up with as much stuff then, but some people will do it right in their calendar. Because if you go to your, um, if you just go to your drive and you go to your calendar on your drive, hello. Mm -hmm. You can kind of do things this way too, because if I was going to go ahead and make a event or create something, you're going to add a title and you can do, just see how you can do right here. You can do descriptions and then mm -hmm. same thing, you know, you can, there's more options where you can give yourself a notification. You can go ahead and make notes down in here. You can even add a location. Like if you're going to a cooking show and you want to put the host's address in here, put the host's address. So then when you're ready to drive to their show, you can just click on your calendar, click on the location and the Google map will come up and you can, it'll drive you there. Do you know what I mean? So like there's a lot of usefulness to this. Um, I can also give you guys um, a link for a training video on Google Calendar from Stacy Itzel and, and um, Stephanie Richardson that they did. That's kind of how, that's how I kind of learned to do this and to manage it. They do not use the Google Tasks part. Um, I kind of found that on my own and found that it worked really well for me. So I like to kind of do a combo of both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any questions on that? No. Okay. And I'm always willing, like, if you decide to do digital, I'm willing to, like, we can meet somewhere or do a Zoom meeting ourselves together and I can help you with it too. Okay. okay. Anybody else have a, any questions? Otherwise, I can get you guys off of here unless you guys have questions and that you understood all of that. I don't think I have any questions really, but um, I'm interested in the digital because I feel like the paperwork is just everywhere. <laughs> So I, feel, I would like it to be right here and at my fingertips when I'm out doing a gazillion other things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you run into people and you're like, oh, let me get that booked for you. Let me see yep. what I have, you know, stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. so I'm very interested in it. It just seems like a lot. <laughs> it is. It's a lot to get used to. And, you know, you might not have to do it exactly like I, how I do it. That's kind of like how right. this is with everything. Same thing, virtual parties with house coaching, just as long as you're doing something. <laughs> right. So, um, but if you need, yeah, I mean, I just have my big calendar for now. Yeah. And I'm, I'm happy to, you know, like I said, when you're ready, I'm happy to sit down with you and do that with you. You know what I mean? That's no problem to kind of help you guide you how you want You think it's the best, you know, way for you to be able to do it. Right. You know, and I think, I mean, I think it would be better for me to do that. Like, instead of like starting like I mean yeah, I either want to start one process or the other I don't want to go buy you know something to file all this stuff and then you know in a month or two I'm not going to be using it you know mm -hmm. so that to me is a waste so. right it is and that's yeah so if you feel you know I mean if you want to step into this sooner than later Demi just let me know because like I said I'd be happy to meet up with okay. you or something like that and we can kind of sit down you know, any yeah, for sure. I'm, willing to do that I'm definitely you know. interested. Anna and Carla, it's a little bit different, but I could come up if I needed to. <laughs> so, I could well, that's a sweet offer. It'd make me an excuse to come up and I'd make Sarah drive down. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I would do that if you guys wanted me to. So, um, but yeah, so did everything kind of make sense then? Or do you guys have any questions I can answer while we're on the call here? Did that help? Yeah, yeah. that could help. So it, much. Yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. yeah. It does. Good. And Domni and um, Jody, um, I think what I'll, you know, maybe everybody needs to learn. I mean, there's a lot of people that need to learn to door, door price slips. So I think I'll just put it up as a pop up training. I'm trying to think. I'll, I'll I have it on my list of stuff to do. I just haven't done yeah, it. Yeah, I'll try to do it. Um, I'll try to do it like next week, one day. Because I don't think, I think that could be like a quick, like 30 minute thing. I don't think it's going to mm -hmm. be. Oh. I'm not tech savvy enough to know how to make that myself, but if you could explain it to me and yeah. show, I, that would be fantastic because I haven't really didn't know. Yeah. That's the one oh, that I figured it out. So if yeah, I it's do it anyway. Oh God, Lori, 
Thank you. <laughs> well, and that's the one thing that I, I was like very about. overwhelmed with it at first, but I, I figured it out. Yeah, so. and it really is. Google makes things pretty simple. So it's kind of like it like tells you like, OK, now you need to do, you know, like it goes to the next step. So it's pretty simple. And once you do one, you'll be able to do Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? And that's the yeah. nice thing is you can do it over and over and over again. And I think the thing that I think is so fantastic is um, how that you can put your responses into like a spreadsheet. And so I don't have to go back into the form and find my responses all the time. They're all on a spreadsheet. Every time somebody answers my Google form, it goes onto that spreadsheet. So all I have to do now is it'll send me an email that somebody filled out my form, but then I just go to the spreadsheet. I don't even have to go back in to look at responses. It's oh. so slick. So, yes. so um, yes, if we could do a short pop-up training yeah. on that, that would be fantastic. Yeah, and Anna That's and Carla, awesome. I'll make sure that Sarah puts you guys on that too. Okay. I, that too. Yeah. I know I remember you talking about that before and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's yeah. so much it's, stuff that, you know, to learn and sometimes you just feel so overwhelmed. In, and that's, yeah, it is, but a, a, but a door prize flip is an important thing to have in your virtual parties because you do that always at a cooking show. And that's one of the ways that somebody is going to maybe, you know, most of the time, like there might mark a maybe, but 90% of the time, maybes are yeses. They just have a question. So yep. you, you need to find those people and somebody might not want to play a game in the Facebook party, but they might fill out the door prize flip. So you need to, you need to have that in there. You really do. Okay. That would be very interesting right. to find out. Yeah. 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 So anybody else have a question? Okay. Well, I'm going to let you guys go then. Okay. Thank, Thank you so you much. So much. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on tonight. Thanks so much. Bye. 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 Bye.